earlier today I made um, a couple posts concerning the total mess that we have or the total mess that the regional corporation did at the corner of Lindsay and Gilk Street um, they supposedly did some patchwork on Gilk Street and they stopped just before the corner and just put the um, the a certain type of stone material and I don't know what else I don't know um, what exactly you call it but this is what happened they put the material but did not pave it over or cover it with um with the asphalt so what happens every time rain falls the entire place is like a mud volcano now it's in a total mess and you can as i said in a post the other day without putting the asphalt to be able to cover it to be able to bind and seal the material the potholes are already coming back the potholes are already coming back why because as i said they did not put the, uh, the asphalt to be able to seal it properly to be able to cover it properly so therefore we have a, a nastier mess in by this corner of Guild Street and Lindsay Street um, because the ministry and not the Ministry of Works no the regional corporation which is headed by the UNC United National Congress are the ones responsible for this the councillor for this area is responsible for this this total mess here now I'm going to walk further up and show what I was talking about um, in my post. So they didn't put the asphalt here. They didn't put the asphalt here in this area. And therefore people are just having to drive through. A set of mud, they clean up their cars. People like myself who, who don't have vehicles have to be walking through mud. Right? And what they did is pave only pathway. Patches, eh? Not the full, the road was never paved completely. And watch, potholes are already coming back. Cracking up there already, why? Because patches don't work. Patches don't ever work. I've seen it over and over again and patches don't ever work. This was an area that they patched. They patched right up to here with, with, with the proper asphalt. And watch it already breaking up anyhow because like the stinging on the asphalt. Stinging on the asphalt. And watch, and the corner is in a total mess. Alright? Watch, you can see where the patch started there. Alright, the rest of the road is in a total mess. And then, going up to the road now, that I mentioned in the post, which, um, which was beautifully paved. Well paved. Right? And, I haven't, got, I haven't, been, I haven't been given a valid explanation. The explanation I was given makes no sense whatsoever. I have, I have not been given a valid explanation as to why they would pave a side road and leave the, 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 the major road, which is Gilk Street, in this deplorable condition. And of course they will say, well, we, we will come back to do it. You will come back to do it when? When will they come back to do it and why, was not, why this wasn't done first? Why they did not deal with Gilk Street first? Which is the major road which people use from all over Sandy Grandi to pass, especially when it has traffic on the main road. So they left this entire, watch a little patch there again. They, 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 they paved this little area to make it look nice, right, by the corner. Right, this is at, uh, at like halfway into Gilk Street. And then watch. Big shot area, Alley Gardens. One road, eh? Just one road. It begs the question, who it is living inside here that they could have been able to get such a, a perfect road done. Right? Beautiful. Watch, watch, watch. Watch the condition. Wonderful road. Right? So I want the UNC councillors and them to explain to me why this road why this road none higher up none none of them higher up going out into grandy none further down but this road get beautiful um paving full right they dig up the ground and they did it like you know like they're building a whole new road so that road got um full paving and yet the major road which is gilk street 
only patches and they leave this more the, 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 the worst part of Guild Street undone and they made it worse by just putting the stony material on it right now let me make this very clear while I'm walking back to go home let me make this very clear this video concerning the performance at the local government um, level with, with UNC in charge has nothing to do with their party in general or with the performance of the, the, the UNC when they are in government, in central government. People use my post earlier on today to start to talk out of nonsense about how um, UNC and PNM they are the same. No, they are not. UNC and PNM are not the same. UNC has performed very well at central government level. The, the, the party was founded on, on, on values and principles which support the middle and the lower class, the working class and the poorer class, the land for the landless, the, 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 um, the opening up of the, 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 the sales of, 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 um, of what you call it, uh, foreign news vehicles, so many different policies that, that, that were um, introduced by them. So anybody that want to, want to, want to push the false narrative that UNC and PNM are the same. No, they are not. But I make it very clear again that a, at a local government um, level, if this sort of utter nonsense continues, I will not be voting for the UNC councillor for this area next local government elections. This is unacceptable. This is total nonsense. Utter total nonsense. And I cannot blame Rohan Senanan for this. Right?